sorry for the noise. They're actually doing asphalt on the road. Um, so do these little Harbor Freight solar chargers work? I've got this one here. Uh, I can't tell if it's lit up or not, but the truck has been sitting here almost four weeks. Um, I think the last time I drove it was around New Year's. Um, so it's been sitting here a while and I normally don't let it sit that long because I don't drive it a whole lot, but I try to at least start it up and run it around a little bit. Um, you know, run a little air in it, you know, every other weekend at least because it um, has a tendency for the battery to go dead. And I know the clock draws some, and I might just unplug it, but I kind of have a feeling that radio is drawing some because I don't, I think that that clock cannot draw that much. I can't tell if it's lit up or not. It does not look like it's lit up. So it may, it may or may not be charging. Let's see if this thing will start up. The problem is you don't just need a battery hot enough just to turn it over, you know, just a little bit and crank it. This thing's got a quadrajet that leaks down and so it's got to crank it over enough to pump up fuel to the carburetor and start it. So it takes quite a bit of cranking after this thing sits. And I've got an intermittent choke light. I don't know what's going on with that. And it's not. And I don't think this thing, I don't know that it's charging. So, I guess let's go get some jumper cables and jump it off. So how about we see if the Ford 2000 tractor will start. It's got the uh, economy battery from Walmart in it. it. So far has been flawless, even in cold weather. But it as well has been sitting probably three, four weeks. See if it'll crank up. Oh, it's cranking over good. just got some shutter to it. I may end up having to put a clutch in it. Looks like the injection pump's a little oily. It might have a leak somewhere. Maybe in here. It's wet down there. Right there. Yeah, there's a value battery from Walmart that's working well. things one-handed. Let me get 
this hooked up. Tractors are great for jump starting because uh, you can idle them up. Now this thing uh, does not, uh, that generator does not put out much, many amps. It's like 20 amps or something like that. I don't think we have a good connection. set is the transmission converter leaks down or the pump converter leaks down through the pump this pump is worn when I rebuilt it I reused the pump from it and uh, I should have used one of my other pumps so I've got three of these transmissions so I've got three pumps it's, it's engaging pretty good and normally you'll notice it in reverse sit and run for a minute and then we'll I'll check the fluid Actually got a battery tester on the way. We'll test this battery. It's probably getting close to its three-year mark, and if it's if it's hurting, then uh, I need to go get it swapped out. It's got a three-year warranty, three-year pre-replacement. Two of sixteen, so we're right at the uh, three-year mark on this battery. So we'll test it and see how it how it's doing.
so muddy. That's why I've got the truck parked out here. Is it's clean or pretty clean, and I do not want to take it through all that mud. It's not dried out, and I have not checked the transmission fluid yet. I need to check it. check it and then we'll go for a ride it was down half a quart so I'll put half a quart in and we are set to go for a little ride I drove this thing it looked like the thermostat was sticking just a little bit and it looks like it's gonna do it again I'm gonna have to do a quick drive let's see watch that uh, temperature gauge for me it did not it creeped to just a little past 210 and then it finally opened Like that's probably what it's gonna do now. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna roll down the window and we will turn on the heat full blast. Help get rid of some of that heat. And alternator's charging a lot, making the belt squeal. Yeah, look at it, it's creeping up. Oh, it's coming back down. See it open. I don't think that was me turning on the heat that made that big of a difference. It dropped so quick. The thermostat finally opened. So the thermostat's kind of sticking on it. So to me, that's what that looks like, is that it's, it's taking it longer to open up and it finally opens. So we need to, uh, and see, look how cool, cold it gets. You know, it's like it opens, the engine cools way down, and then it's it's sticking, I think, both ways. So uh, we definitely need to address that before we drive it much more. I needed to run down to storage and uh, put our Christmas tree box in the back because it doesn't fit very well. So I'm going to cut this off here. I'm going to run to our storage building, except it's down the road a little bit, and uh, get this Christmas tree box. So I will uh, see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.